what would it be without candy and sweets? And a fun family project at One Local Bakery is here to help out. Yes, Monique Herrera, owner of Cake Art, is here to show us how to make your own cool and colorful candy. Welcome, how welcome. Are you? I'm good, how are you? This yep. looks so beautiful. Thank right? you. And we are starting here with some lollipops. But not just any lollipops, right? These are our meringue pops, which I'm going to show you how to make today. And then we're going to use them to decorate a cake later. And just regular old meringue that folks bake with. Yep. Mm -hmm. This looks really, really pretty. OK, mm -hmm. how do we get started? Uh, so we're going to start by mixing some egg whites and mm -hmm. powdered sugar. We're going to uh, add some dye to it. And then we're going to put it in these piping bags. And then we're going to start to decorate it on these lollipop sticks. And you can do whatever you want to, right? Yeah, any colors. We're going to do some Halloween inspired ones today. So you're just going to ice both lollipop sticks there. And you can just do whatever whatever yeah. patterns makes it stick. It's going to be beautiful. Stick, yeah, right? it's going to be beautiful no matter what. So after you're done piping them, then we're going to put them in a 200 degree oven for about 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to turn the oven off and we're going to let them sit overnight. Okay. And then when we're done, they're going to look something like the ones you see on the table there. Something like those. <laughs> okay. If we're lucky. Right. Yeah, I've got some sprinkles there on the plate, too, if you want to decorate. Oh, with some sprinkles. Okay. it's got some googly eyes and everything. Yeah. Okay. Whoopsie. So then after you, you, know, you get to the top here, what's the next step? What would you do? Yeah, so after uh, you do this here, that's when we're going to put them in the oven just like that. And? This Take them out the next day and yeah, it looks just like this, this right? Yep. And you can make them any size you want to, uh, which is the great thing about it. And also, if you wanted to do this for uh, Day of the Dead, if you wanted to do it for Thanksgiving or Christmas, just change the colors. Absolutely. And you're all set, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Well, look at how pretty your mine. Okay. Well, I was <laughs> trying win. to go. I was trying to go off that right there. I don't know what you were doing. You well, were feeling the creativity, though. Here we go. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to add to it. I'm going to go the lily here. So. All right. Okay. Next. Now some hard candy, right? Yeah, so we've got some uh, isomalt cubes there, which I melted down, and then I poured them on a mat, and, and then it turned into this. You can get those at the store? Yes. And mm -hmm. that's just basically sugar. It's not overly sweet, though. No. I have uh, samples, you, so. Yeah, you can add your own extracts to it, so it can be any flavor you like. Okay, okay or coloring if you need to. But yeah. we're going to use this a little bit later on, but first you have to do something which the kids would have fun with, right? Yes, yeah, so we're going to go ahead and break this, and we're going to make... There you go. <laughs> <laughs> she means business when she's breaking candy. Okay. So those will be used to decorate a cake later on. However, you can do it like this, which you've done here, right? Yeah, I added some dye and some sprinkles to it. And then we've got like little lollipops there that we're going to use to decorate cakes later. OK. Oh, I love it. And okay. then are those flavored? Or did you add any flavor to it? Yes, those are orange flavored. This is just vanilla here. These are like shards of glass we're going to use. Mm -hmm. Oh, see? So I broke it. Just perfect for that. You can't. Oh I wow! Gonna, I was going to try and take a little nibble of this. Oh, there, there you go. There we go. Okay, I just want okay. to taste it. Uh, okay. Now, All right. some of these other treats. This is absolutely gorgeous right here. Thank you. That's our dessert charcuterie board. This is obviously Halloween uh, decor inspired. Uh, you can basically order them with any type of dessert we have to offer. And walk us through what's on there. Okay, we've got some mini cupcakes. Uh, we've got some little spooky brownies. Uh, some. French macaroons, we got churro bites, and we got some couple of candies there as well. Okay. I don't know why I never thought of churro bites before. Mm -hmm. Churro bites are great. Use <laughs> yeah. little bite size. And these right here? These are our chocolate covered pretzel sticks. Uh, these have some glitter on them. We've got some ghosts. And folks can kind of easily do this at home, right? Yeah, absolutely. So we're just dipping them in chocolate and then decorating them in different colors. And oh, even candy okay. baskets mm. like this that you can order. And we're going to tell you all about that. Plus, we are going to show you how to decorate those beautiful cakes and some really, really cool techniques that she has coming up, including the smashed candy that you know did such a good job smashing. Okay. All right. Thank you very much. All right. 